this is my um, ocean solution test basically we got a Kratky type aquaponic system thanks to Dr. Kratky it has been introduced to me really by Bobby from MHP Gardening and I've been doing it now for a couple of months um, I bought some ocean solution a while ago and I wanted to try that out so what I'm going to do today is I have these two identical grow boxes here and I'm going to add master blend calcinate and Epsom salt to the left one which is the master blend formula and I'm going to add the same thing to the right box but I'm going to include some of the um, ocean solution now what I'm going to try to do is get in this test here I really want to get my PPMs or my total dissolved solids which I have a tester here I want to get that equal to each other so I want to have a little bit less master blend in the right one and I'm going to compensate that with the ocean solution um, another test might be for the future where I'm going to put the exact same amount and just add ocean solution but it might be a little bit unfair because there might be more nutrients in one or at least the total dissolved solids will be higher um, I'm gonna edit these videos because I'm gonna have to do this in parts but basically both boxes are 30 gallon boxes they have another liner in it and they got a foam cover I filled them about half up with water right now both of them but I'm gonna put the solution in first and then I'm gonna fill them up and top them off I'm gonna wait with the ocean solution so that I'm gonna get the um, total solves the TDS and measure it when it's full and then I'm gonna add the ocean solution I'm gonna try to get these the parts per million basically the total dissolved solids I'm gonna try to get them almost equal the idea is to see if the box with the ocean solution does better. Now, better, of course, is a relative term. Um, let's say you might have bigger salads, or they might grow faster, or they might look healthier or greener, or they might be better tasting. Of course, those things can be somewhat measured, at least the size and the speed by which they grow can. And when these boxes are in the same location, they have the same circumstances concerning wind and light but there of course are my maybe minor minor dif differences but basically these are almost identical um, things like the minerals in the vegetables are not I'm not able to measure that so um, one of my ideas is to maybe send it to natural news they have a um, natural news forensic lab they basically check out all kinds of stuff and they might be able to measure some of the you know essential nutrients and minerals that are in there and hopefully I could dry some of these specimens later and they might test that but besides that I'm not able to see if there's more minerals with the eye or with the mouth by tasting it um, but I will be able to see if the size and the speed by which it grows is is faster with this ocean solution and maybe even the, the way it looks the colors and maybe even the taste but um I'm just gonna give it a try and the, this test is gonna take about 45 days 50 days um, I've already planted the babies and the babies are gonna go in here today they are actually now four days old so I've planted those seeds four days ago I've put them in net cups they're tiny you'll see them later but um, the attempt here is to see the difference between just master blend combination and the um, adding the ocean solution so I'm gonna cut now I'm gonna add these things up and, and put the babies in and um, the little plants and then um, I'm gonna start measuring the PPM and then we'll be following this for the coming I'm gonna try to do it every week so we can see how the progress goes over a period of four to five weeks basically five weeks maybe even six five to six weeks and see what the results are so I'm gonna start filling that up now and then start measuring and come back later to you guys all right so I've um, filled this tank 
this one here on the left only has master blend so that is the master blend calcinate and Epsom salt this one is at 1420 parts per million at this moment it's just like the other one was and a total dissolved solids of 50 in the rainwater this is just rainwater and there are 50 particles of something in there per million 50 particles per million of something dust salt whatever it is in the air we have a we're an island so we got some salty air so maybe there's a little bit of salt in there which is d50 the other one had that as well 1400 1400 parts per million so 50 of that was in the rainwater 1350 is master blend calcinate and epsom salts now i'm going to try to bring this one up to a thousand from 50 to a thousand and then add 400 ocean solution so it's going to be a lengthy process but i want to have it accurate so i'm going to have to do it slowly and bring this one up first to a thousand with the same thing as the left box and then raise it to 1400 with the ocean solution all right so i've added in the master blend calcinate and epsom salt magnesium sulfate this guy here is all master blend calcinate and magnesium sulfate and this guy is going at 1400 it's a tiny little bit variation once in a while but this one is holding at like 1400 and this one I've added the same mixture in there and it's holding at a thousand you can see here a thousand parts per million two parts master blend two parts calcinate and one part Epsom salt so two to one so we got 1400 on the left master blend calcinate and Epsom salt and we got a thousand parts per million on the right now I'm going to add the ocean solution and I'm going to raise it to 1400 so I'm going to bring them up equal but 400 of the one with the ocean solution will be ocean solution and only a thousand of the master blend blend mix all right so I've added the ocean solution and you can see here the parts per million count comes out to be about 1400 his water is swirling still it's been swirling for a couple of minutes 1410 parts per million 1400 that is 1000 parts per million master blend including the 50 parts per million rainwater solids and 400 ocean solution and this one over here on this side is only the master blend calcinate and epsom salt and it's also going at 1400 so that's perfect i'm happy with that now i'm going to plant the same babies plants the same little plants that i planted four days ago they're four days old and I want to start planting them now in these buckets there are a couple of rows of them all right I got everything in we're looking at two boxes they are hydroponic non-circulating style boxes they have 14 plants each 30 gallons of water this left box here has 1400 parts per million of the master blend solution which is master blend calcinate and epsom salts and water now my rainwater that i use had 50 parts per million 
in it already of solids whatever they were now this box also has 14 plants also contains 30 gallons of water it also had rainwater with 50 parts per million solids in it already then i added 950 master blend to get to a thousand and then i've added 400 parts per million of the ocean solution here at the back are mizuma this is a red amsoy and this is the pak choy. Both of them have the same things. These little babies are four days old from seed. It's pretty early on. I put them in pretty quickly. So they're tiny. They all look the same. And uh, here I got double one. And on this box as well, I got this double pak choy here. So I'll keep you guys updated. I'm going to try to do this every week, hopefully every Saturday or Sunday, so it's about seven days between each stage. Hopefully there's going to be no rain to uh, flood these tanks and throw off my parts per million, although they probably will be flooded equally when it rains. So um, I'll keep you updated. This is the Ocean Solution and Master Blend Hydroponic Cracky Style MHP Gardener Test. Hope you enjoy it and hope we get some uh, more knowledge about what works and how the Ocean Solution has effect on these plants. See you next time.